New at five, this iconic sculpture in Old Town Fort Collins smashed to the ground. Police say the person who caused the damage was drunk. Seven News reporter Lindsay Watts live in Fort Collins. Now, Lindsay, this isn't the type of thing that just can be repaired. No, Eric, because this was a fiberglass statue, one of seven around the city. Here is another one, nearly 10 feet high, but apparently the vandal was trying to mount the horse. He ended up arrested and the statue permanently put out to pasture. The artwork in downtown Fort Collins has made it a showcase. From keys on the corner to art even more outside the box. It's a great blank canvas. Fort Collins spends a lot of money on unique additions to its streets. <laughs> it makes you feel good. Some pieces can sustain a little horsing around, but it's sad. It's a wasteland. Artist Amy Brackenberry's fiberglass masterpiece was not one of them. This is where it stood for seven years. Oh, I was crushed. I was crushed. She says painting the horse took weeks, but in only a few seconds. I see him kind of like leaning on it, you know. It's People nearby watched as a man you know, brought it down. And all of a sudden I hear a big hollow crash and it hits the ground. And I turn around and the horse is on the ground and he's like trying to stand up and almost immediately police were there. This was a $4,000 statue paid for in part by taxpayer dollars. The Downtown Development Authority is responsible for much of the art in Old Town Square. The executive director says the statue was insured and that art theft and vandalism are very rare here. You just take the risk when you do something like this, something bad could happen to it. The Downtown Development Authority says it does expect to get the full $4,000 from insurance to replace the artwork. The director says because the horses are made of fiberglass, they were not expected to last forever. Live in Fort Collins, Lindsay Watts, 7 News.